What's up, everybody? I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and today we're gonna be talking about how to go from nice guy to alpha male, the men's guys here. And in case you guys are new to my channel, we've been getting in a lot of new guys every single day. I'm really excited to see it. But in case you're new here, what I do here is I help really just any guy attract and date their dream girl. And so today we're gonna be taking a step forward today with just how to go from nice guy to alpha male. I've been seeing a lot of guys come to me lately who are too nice. They do what they do to please other people and they kind of put themselves last or they feel inferior automatically around other people. And we're going to change that today because women aren't attracted to the nice guy. They're not attracted to the beta male orbiter. They're attracted to the alpha male, the leader type of man that really puts himself out there, that stands up for himself, that invests in himself, that wants to strive for higher levels and wants to get to higher levels. That's the type of man that a woman wants and a woman needs in her life is that leader right there. And so let's just start off with just who I was and who I am now, as you can see. So 27 17 Selena right here on the left. I was a follower. I was afraid. I was dumped by my ex-girlfriend. And where am I at today? 2024 Selena. I'm in my dream relationship. That picture that I'm showing you guys right here is right here on the wall. In case you guys have noticed, my background has changed slightly. I'm actually in my new place. I can literally see the entire city just right there. It's pretty fucking awesome. But my background, it needs some work. I got to fix it up a little bit, as you can see. And it's fucking hot as hell in my room. So I got to figure that out a little bit. But damn, like, this is beautiful. My dream has literally come come true from literally nothing to something from literally flat broke just a couple of years ago and then finally scaling my company and coaching men all across the world, coaching over a hundred men now in my program. We have over a hundred guys in my program, Arrows, and just making my dream come true. It's like, how did I go from this guy on the left, super skinny to where it's like my bicep was the same size as my forearm <laughs> to apparently my obsession with white shirts for whatever reason, wearing fake chains and having this really weird haircut and getting rejected by women and basically being able to get to day one or two. But then suddenly after day two, she she'd be like, you know, I'm just not really interested in that, or I'm not interested in dating right now, or, oh, I'm just really busy tonight, or, oh, I'm just so busy with school, or something came up with my friends, so I have to kind of, you know, cancel our date, and then suddenly she ghosts you, and you never hear from her again. I was a follower. I was a sheep. I was someone who was scared to stand up for himself. I was scared because so many different reasons. My family's divorce back in the day really shattered my confidence. I was bullied for a lot of my life, and we were poor. We were bankrupt, and so we couldn't afford any clothes or food. So I had to wear clothes that were like just way too tight. And I was growing just at rapid rates, you know, so I was outgrowing my clothes, but I still had to wear the same exact clothes because we didn't have any money for clothing. And so people would make fun of me because my clothes would be too tight or too short. My pants were literally, I remember one time my pants were like almost like at the base of my calf and somebody like started calling me like gay. They started calling, like made up this rumor that I was gay because I wore these super tight pants that were like super like short also on my legs. And they're like, dude, like I'm pretty sure this dude's like gay, man. He's giving me gay vibes. And I was like, what the fuck? man. Like, literally, we were so poor that I had to just accept that clothing and just wear that clothing. It, it sucked, but it was part of reality. And so that bullying just really drained my confidence for a lot of my life. It drained my mental. And by the time I started getting into dating, started actually liking women, I had no idea how to approach the situation with women. I had no idea how to talk to women. I had no idea how to date women. I had no idea really just how to attract the dream woman that I wanted. And I saw all of my friends around me, it seemed like they were just getting in relationships and they were dating their dream girl and everything was amazing. They were posting on Facebook and they were traveling with her. And I'm just over here on a Friday night kind of alone because they started dating women. And now they're Friday and Saturday nights are occupied with their woman. And so I'm kind of sitting here alone on Friday and Saturday nights. Like, man, I, I really don't know what to do with my life. And I don't know how to approach and there'd be beautiful women all around me. I didn't know how to talk to them or didn't know how to attract them. And it really just drained my confidence even more. And just one day I got into a relationship and bad habits that I saw coming out. My parents divorced with just insecurities and just freaked me out about the littlest things came out and ended up getting dumped by her. And it got to a point where I was just like, dude, I need to change my life. I need to fucking step up and just be a man and just change change my life and do something with my life. And so I started literally just waking up at 5 a.m. I started writing a book. Someone was like, dude, maybe you should write a book, man. You have a lot of great wisdom points, it seems like. And so I started writing a book and I got a mentor on this dating stuff and I started to crush it. And I started to crush it so much that a club promoting industry was like, dude, maybe you should come work for us, right? So I started working for the club promoting industry, started making a lot of fucking money. Actually, my mentor actually got me the job with the club promoting industry. I read about that in my best-selling book. It's around here somewhere. I'm still moving in, so I have no idea actually what I do my best-selling book, but it's around here somewhere. The link's in the description below. But after I got into the club promoting industry, I was surrounded by beautiful women and dating beautiful women to the point where my friends were like, dude, how are you doing this, man? Like, what are you doing? And, and teach us. And so I started teaching them. One day, one of them was like, dude, maybe you should write a book or make a program on this stuff. And that's when it kind of clicked for me. The light bulb I was like, that's exactly what I do with my life. I was a nurse, a nursing
nursing major before I actually <laughs> did this. It's like, could you imagine me as a nurse? Like someone would shit their pants and then I'd be like, well, what do you want me to do about it? You know what I mean? I'd be fired first day. I'm not hating on nurses, but it's like, I got a lot of nurses in my program. It's just something that it just wasn't for me, right? Like I care about people. I serve people in a different way and that's through my program arrows. But now it's like I, after I stepped up and I started doing this, I just got through the club promoting industry, wrote my book, published it. I scaled this company and got my dream relationship in the process. My girlfriend was and has been super supportive of my, my vision and my journey. And now we're traveling the world together and doing amazing things just because of the vision that I had years ago to create this. But the way to go from nice guy to alpha male was that I used to be super nice back in 2017. And now I'm more of that leader archetype, leading a team, leading my relationship. Women are attracted to me. Even though I'm in a relationship, it doesn't stop women from trying to shoot their shot with me, right? And there's a difference between the nice guy and the alpha male. And the nice guy does what he does to please other people. And so one mission for you guys is that the next time that somebody asks you to do something because they know that they can rely on you because you're nice and you're not going to say no, the next time somebody asks you to do something, what I want you guys to do is ask yourself, am I doing this or would I do this because I want to do it? Or is it because I'm just doing it to get their validation? Nice guys seek validation from other people because they're insecure in themselves. And that's their attraction technique. They try to pull women by being nice and kind of looping around. And then suddenly one day it blows up in their face when they're just like, well, I like like you. I really fucking like you and I want you. And you just don't see that. And it just blows up. And they're like, well, I just viewed you as a friend. Where'd this come from? <laughs> right? Like where the hell did this come from? And that's how I went from nice guy to alpha males. I made that change. I was just like, dude, I don't want to live my life like this anymore. I'm not going to tolerate disrespect. I'm going to punch it right in the face. I'm not going to be a man that seeks validation. I'm not going to be a man that's just way too nice for no fucking reason other than that he just wants people to like him. I'm going to be a man that does what he wants, when he wants, and does what he has to do. And I'm going to be living life on my own fucking terms. And I had to get a mentor for that. And that's totally fine because now the fruits of my labor are beautiful. Maybe I'll make a blog about my dream place after I get finished kind of settling in so you guys can see it. But it's amazing. And the life that I've created is absolutely fucking amazing just from one simple choice I made to level up my life. And these are other guys in my program as well who have went from nice guy to alpha male, Lily Owen. I took this picture like a couple days ago when I was still at my old place with my background, as you can see. And he joined my program from Alaska. <laughs> from Alaska. Joined my program. He literally had a shitty life. Like he got kicked out of his place, had to live in his car. And he said that one thing he took with him was my book. And he said that served him so well. And he's like, dude, like now that I've made money, I'm coming back and I'm going to join your program. Like that's so fucking awesome, man. It's so incredible that he did that. And we're serving him right now. And he's literally just already in a couple days, his confidence is just shooting up. He's just applying everything in the program. He lied. He went through a toxic breakup a couple of years back. And he said like, it just affected his confidence. He tried to fix it himself and he got a little bit better, but he knew that he wasn't ever going to reach his full potential or maybe would reach his full potential way later in life. If he didn't just take action and do the program. Now he's in the program attracting quality beautifully. And same with Bradley right here. Literally, he joined the program. He went through a divorce. Let me see if I can move this over. Actually, there we go. He went through a divorce. And after the divorce, he said that his confidence was also going through waves as well. And now that we got him in the program, he met a girl in his building. We taught him he was being way too fucking nice and just sending paragraphs on the dating apps and just sending paragraphs to girls he was texting. And then suddenly after date one, she would just lose interest because he wasn't attracting her. He wasn't able to spark interest. And after I, I literally looked at all of his texts, I saw exactly what his problem was. He just wasn't confident in what he was saying after we taught him what to say he met a girl in his building and she's like chasing him like crazy she's trying to go out with him like crazy and so we're still fixing the bad habit of the nice guy texting but he has significantly gotten better in the past four weeks now he's dating a girl he's on date number three with her she lives in his building how easy is that just come over baby come into my room boom you just get together like it's so easy but it's opportunity is right in front of your guys's face but it's not going to change unless you take action and so if you guys want to take action and do something like my program or read my book even like if you haven't read my book i don't know what you're doing with your life man especially if you follow me for a couple weeks. Like you need to take action to do that. My book's over there. I can see it now. I'm not going to get up and get it, but the link's in the description below. And also if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, like you kind of know that this is right for you and you're ready to do my program. There's a link in the description below with Calendly. Book in a call with me. We'll talk and we'll go back and forth and we'll get you onboarded into the program on that call. But only book in that call if you're serious, you're ready to do this. You're not fucking around. You're not, oh, I'm going to think about it for the next six months. Like, no, like this is it's not for you, dude. Like people that take action, they're ready to go and they're ready to do invest in themselves and you don't freak out about payments. Like if payments are an issue, you can literally break it down. If you have an okay credit score, at least you can break payments down to like 300 bucks a month or 170, I believe. If you absolutely had to do that with the platform that we partnered with. So I'm selling to Kim America's face of dating. Make sure to like and subscribe and also message me on Instagram and say you're directly from YouTube. If you have any questions for me at all, especially about the program and you're kind of just wanting to inquire about it, we'll talk and go back and forth and see if it's right for you. And then comment down below any questions you might have. I'm selling to Kim America America's face of dating and I'll see you guys next time.